Hello, welcome to Fishing for Bees. Checking traps today, Saturday, May 7th. So the traps one, three, and six are in Grand Rapids and they've been up the longest. So I am gonna resent them today. Traps two, four, and five are 25 miles to the north in Kent County, Michigan. So northeast of Grand Rapids. Anyways, no activity at one. Beautiful day. It's gonna to start to be in the 80s next week. So I'm expecting some things to pick up. Anyways, I'm out checking them and the ones to the south we're gonna be resenting today. So I do use Swarm Commander. This is an old bottle. So I did freshen it up with some lemongrass. And when I'm resenting them, as far as after they've been hung, I just do the outside. Spray on the inside. I don't go inside, but once a month, and I only do one spray on top of the frames. So anyways, we're resenting three of them. We're gonna check all of them. We'll give you some updates, although I'm not expecting anything. Next week I'll be out again, as soon as this 80 degree weather comes in. It's gonna come on hopefully fast and furious. Really excited. Trap number two, Saturday, May 7th, Rockford, Michigan, northeast of Grand Rapids. Shocking. Nothing. Homeowner said there was a bumblebee. A couple days ago. So anyways, beautiful day. No activity. I guess I'll show you Emmy. And here's the homeowner, Emmy. So here we are at trap number three. So traps one, three, and six are more towards Grand Rapids. And then 25 miles to the north are traps two, four, and five. I hope I got that right. Anyways, we're at one of the ones in Grand Rapids. This was put up a couple weeks ago, so I did resent it. Uh, no activity, not shocking. Again, today is Saturday, May 7th. But there is something interesting here, which I didn't notice when I hung these because it was colder. We have a dead, standing dead stump here with what I believe to be an active beehive. So I'm gonna have to get with the homeowner on this one and see what the plan for these girls are. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on it. Very, very cool. Not sure what this is gonna mean for scouting activity considering this is literally 10 yards away. But just over six feet tall. Looks like their nest is in the bottom. Scratch everything we know about where bees will move and swarms and everything else. Fascinating, who knows. But anyways, I'll keep you posted on this one when I do more investigating. Not sure exactly what is going on in here. If there's two different insects in here, but I'm not suited up, so I'm not getting too close. Anyways, that's the update on trap three. The update is nothing. Saturday, May 7th, trap number four. Shocking, but no activity. Next week, supposed to be in the 80s. And judging by our own colonies, it should be happening next week. So anyways, trap number four, Grand Rapids, Michigan, nothing. So we're at trap five, Saturday, May 7th. Uh, I think I'll probably be reporting on lots of no activity. But anyways, we were here at the bee yard. We equalized our hives here in Michigan. Um, I do run natural comb mostly, so Tons of drones ready to explode. 
and also drones already alive in the hive. I had about six or seven queen cells in our strongest colony, uh, all of them dry. We crushed them all down. Gave some brood frames to our weaker colonies, from our stronger colonies, and uh, currently there's no scouting activity at Trap 5. And I'm not seeing here in Michigan yet that my colonies want to swarm, so soon uh, dry queen cells and lots of drone brood in the stronger colonies. All right, so we're wrapping up the checking of the swarm traps. Uh, on Saturday, May 7th, trap number six, which is my backyard. Actually, I have the least amount of confidence in this one, so it'll probably catch. But again, resenting the ones to the south, so traps uh, one, three, and six were resenting with Swarm Commander. You can give me an endorsement at any time. I'd like to hear from some people that might be using some other things in the comments below. So I'm not uh, only interested in Swarm Commander, I'm interested in some of the other ones. There's two that came on the market this year and there was always one from China available on eBay. So if anybody's got any information on them. Again, for the two week interval, I just do two sprays on the outside. I don't go in them. If there was hornets going in them, I would be doing more investigation or anything like that but I'm pretty comfortable with not scenting the inside. Do that about once a month, only one spray. Just be careful with any of your scents. You will deter them, you will scare them off. So anyways, thanks for watching. Oh wait, we got one more. We have another introduction. This is the homeowner. This is Molly. So we got two introductions today, one more homeowner still to introduce. So anyways, thanks again for watching Fishing for Bees. Uh, again, if you could like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry that there's really no action that was to be expected. And uh, again, if you guys could comment below on what you sent with, I'm very interested. This one that I'm using today is an old Swarm Commander freshened up with a little bit of lemongrass. It's pretty low though, and pretty old. so. Got a fresh one. If you're looking for Swarm Commander, you better buy it now if it's even still available. Last year was horrible. So again, thanks for watching. We will see you around and uh, be updating you next week on those 80 degree days. Probably starting Tuesday. Thank you.